I'm ready. I'm ready too. Okay. Yeah. Whenever you are. One, two, two and a half, three, four, five. Jesus Christ. All right. One, two. <laughs> Come on, Timo. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> everybody and welcome back to another episode of Unmuted. Yeah. Uh, my name is Kifo and today I'll be your guest alongside... <laughs> buddy, you're the host! <laughs> you're the host, buddy, not the guest! <laughs> Sorry, let me, let me retry that one. <laughs> Just keep going, I it's be, okay. I will be your host for today, my name is Kifo, alongside... Hi, I'm Michaela, and I will be one of your hosts for today. Woo! And can we get another round of applause for our amazing guests here? Clap more, more, <laughs> more, <laughs> more, yeah! more, yeah! more. Okay. Not done yet. <laughs> Two more. Okay, we're good. Hi. Hi, Jay. What's up? Hi, What's up, Nadia. Man? Hello. What's up, guys? Wow, Hi. I'm on an unmuted video. <laughs> How does it feel? It's exciting, you know. This I know. is my, how many? Third, I think. Third, third video, third time. Jason, is that true? Fact check? Too many. Too many, yeah. I know you've been in unmuted because of Jason, but is it like, have you been a host before? Eh, guest, sorry. Yeah, guest, guest, up. as guest. You've That's why guest. I've been guest three times, I think. I think, mm. yeah. How about you, Nadia? This is actually my first time. First time yeah. being a, a guest. Anything. I'm not going to do it. Unmuted. Anything, anything? Yeah. Okay. Really how are, how are you guys feeling about today's episode? Looking good. I don't know what it's about, really. Really? Kind of. Are, are you telling me the truth? <laughs> no, I know what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> I made him panic there a little bit. Aren't you going to introduce us? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, well, uh. like I said, this is, this is Jay and Nadia and... You might have seen Jay in either TC or TC Youth. He plays the guitar. He sings. He's like, no, no, you know. <laughs> yeah. I definitely sound like that. Yeah, yeah definitely. 100%. And then uh, That's what this I sound is like. this is Nadia. The, you you might have seen her either being an MC in TC Youth and singing in TC Youth. I've actually done. I've been an MC with you, no? Oh yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, that, that that's is also true. my first time being an MC at youth. Cool. Really? Yeah. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. yeah. I remember I, I was so nervous for the first time and then like yeah. I was in a room with you and Shia and then I was like, guys, guys, I, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do mm -hmm. it. Well, well, so I, I'm glad that you guys are able to make it here. Um, Thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah. No, no problem. Wow, well, look at that. It's a privilege to be here. Mm -hmm. The I'm best number one podcast. Best number one podcast in Jak Jakso. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's go with that. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I'm very excited to have you guys here because again, um, it's just I've I've talked to Jay before. I, every time I had a conversation with him, it's always fun. And the times where I've had conversations with with Nadia is just, it's very. How do how do you say it? She's a very. What's the word like? Enlightful like. You have a bunch of in lifeful, in not in lifeful. No, in lifeful is not a word. <laughs> Let's check that real quick. Is that a word? <laughs> no, she's not a word. She's not a word. I mean, like uh, she just has a, a bunch of knowledge and everything. Oh, thank mm. you. <laughs> bunch of knowledge. Please. Nadia the wise. Insightful. There you go. Insightful. Oh. Nadia the insightful. Is that her nickname? Yes. I'm gonna put that as. <laughs> now her, it is. I'm gonna put that sure. as her, her contact now. Nadia the insightful. <laughs> nice. So before we get into any like more further questions, just to, to just to break more ice than we already have, uh, we just have a quick little Whoa. question just to get into the conversational mood, you know. Mm -hmm. So, are you guys ready for this? This is a, this is a, a would you rather question. Oh my God, my ice is already broken. Oh, wow. Okay. What? <laughs> yeah. So, if you guys had the choice, like like God or something came up to you, right? And it was oh, like, okay. 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 <laughs> Jay, Nadia, uh -huh. I'm gonna give you guys this one chance. Either go into the future and see what happens in the future or go into the past and change. 
what's happened. Hmm. Oh. You want to go first or me to go first? You. Okay, fine. Man. Thanks. This is going to be a lot of this. It's going to be a lot of me going first. Yes. But it's okay. <laughs> Should have been lady first, but it's fine, you know. Um, it's <laughs> okay, you leave. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't get mad at me, please. <laughs> anyway, um, I think for me, I would say going into the future. Why? Because the past is what makes me who I am. Mm. And I am content and grateful for who I am. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Nadia? I think I'm gonna go with go back to the past and you know try to fix something because now I know a lot more than I mm, did and I'm yeah. like I feel like I can do a little better and fix something yeah that's it because uh, for me future is like it's okay it's a mystery and I don't have to know like it. like you don't want to see what's next you just want to like yeah, I'm just gonna like walk. I like to see what's next. Why not? You never know. That might be a next business idea in the future. You know, you never know. Might be something if, good. But what if like looking into the future changed the future, you know? Like that sentence, like, like this. Maybe sentence. I want to change the future. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. You never know. That is true. Yeah. Uh, well, now that we've broke the ice it's i don't think it's there anymore it's it's global it's warming it's so is real. melted right now <laughs> i just it's can't warm. I, I, somebody <laughs> so as as the uh, as the listeners and the viewers can tell from the title of this episode we're going to be talking about being a christian teenager and whoa the, <laughs> and yeah just crazy the, the 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 trials that can come with it the challenges and stuff but whoa just just to lay a foundation here for your guys' perspective mm -hmm. yeah uh like what was your favorite thing about being a teenager hmm. Hmm. what's my favorite thing about being a teenager i think the friends obviously i think that's everybody has in common i guess most people i know some of you are like i hate my friends <laughs> but like for the most part i mean it's pretty fun, you know, with friends. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's one of them. I think just having those uh, stupid moments. I can say stupid, right? Yeah. yeah. Who cares? I can say stupid. <laughs> um, yeah, those stupid moments in school, uh, at home with your neighbors. You know, mm. I like to play futsal a lot, and that was fun. You know, and like, I fun fact. Yeah. I, broke my wrist playing. twice playing What's futsal up? on the same spot against SM Cut kids. They how play long, rough, man. How long did it take for it to recover fully, a broken wrist? Uh, I would say... I forgot. Five? Three? Three what? months? Months? Three yeah. months. Months? Is that too long? I don't know. I never <laughs> broke anything. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Uh, something like that. Okay. I mean, it, I would say it's around at least more than a month. Mm. It was it was pain. It was itchy. I had to use the cast, and yeah, mm. I didn't like it that much. Did your friends like you the sign? Yeah, they did. Mm. So the first one was ugly as hell. <laughs> Tiny, it was so ugly. It was like they draw like a bunch of weird stuff on it, uh. and it was like there was like she <laughs> draw bones and stuff. Uh. We're cool for a bit, and I was like, this is like it's so tacky. And I was like, <laughs> what am I wearing? And then the second one's a lot nicer. They just did like a bunch of like, uh, what do you call it? Handwriting and yeah, stuff like stuff like that. You know what I mean? So um, yeah. What about you, Nadia? Oh. What's your favorite thing about being a teenager? Um, definitely having the time to like try different things at the same time because I have the energy, I have the the time, of course. I have the friends. I have the privilege of having parents mm -hmm. to like. I don't have to think about bills or like adult stuff. Yeah. Mm. Definitely. Like I have more um what's the thing? Space mm. to like do stupid things as mm. Jay said. Mm. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean like try to do yeah, many mm. things. Yeah. Right now there's none of that as adults. <laughs> uh, we Absolutely have none. Yeah, sure. Back then, were you were you Horrible. ever like, were you ever like, uh, how do you say this? It's like a, you're worried that like you have to adult, because I feel like that's like stuff that like 
a lot of teenagers go through where it's like, oh my God, I'm going to have to do this and do that. Did, did you ever feel something like that? No. <laughs> really? No. I thought most teenagers would want to be adults. Yeah. I mean, I think some of them, like, they can see the, like, the pros, but like, the cons are just like, mm. oh my God, now I'm going to have to be That's more disciplined and more na na na. Really? Wow. Damn, you guys are weird. <laughs> you can say different. that. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm being honest, okay? It's a podcast, unmuted podcast, where we are always honest. Okay, sure. About everything. <laughs> we talk about political, economic. No. No. Okay, no, no, sorry. No. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I used to. I see a lot of kids and teens, mm. especially, who always act like they want to be adults a yeah. lot of the times, right? And. Some of them nowadays, I've, I've seen, are ahead of their time. Mm-hmm. Um, and even sometimes I feel like that. I used to feel like, as, when I was a teen, I used to think I was the coolest kid in the world if I hang out with like a bunch of 30-year-olds, 40-year-olds. Mm. I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. Because I used to, yeah, that's going to be a long story. Anyways, <laughs> but yeah. So you used to think that like, adults, they're so cool. You know? Yeah, true. I used to think that. Sorry, what was your question again? I think I was there. <laughs> okay, I got there. So but, yeah. Sorry, we, we went on a bit of a tangent. Yeah, it was yeah. just your favorite thing about being a, t- a teenager, that's all. So for you, it was friends. Yeah, friends, the games, the, um, the sports, the... Not the school, though, I'll be honest not with the you. School. No, not the school. I'm sorry to really? say. No, oh. I never liked school. I love school. No. Yeah. And for Nadia, it's just uh, having freedom and just having spare time and stuff like that. And energy, yes. And energy. Yeah, that I'm goes, old now. That goes away when getting out older. older. Thank You're you. You're fine. <laughs> but yeah. So was there ever an encounter with God that you had when you were young that still stuck with you until today and it somehow like changed the way you are today? As a teen? Yeah. Wanna go first? You can go first. Mm. I'm still thinking. Okay. Hey. Okay, fine. I'll go then. Um, uh, honestly speaking, I did not have an encounter with God as a teen. Not at all. But I was already religious since mm-hmm. I was born, I would say. I've been, I've been a Christian my whole life. Uh, I think before that, the journey has been long. And I, I'm not going to go into much because I know you have a bunch of questions that could probably relate to that anyway. But... Um, yeah, it's been, uh, I think as a teen, I just know that I have to follow God. I have to like love him, not even love. I don't even know that at that point as a teen, Mm. I'll be honest with you. Um, yeah, so I just know that I had to fear him and follow him. That was it as a teen, because that's what I was told. That's what I know. And obviously it's also on my part to not learn more and know more yeah. so um, it goes both ways right because it's a relationship at the end of the day um, so my encounter I would say was, was uh, fam, uh, fam. do you count 19 as teens yeah, yeah. oh then really? sure. like, that's really like, yeah. okay yeah. that's yeah. like the last year of being yeah. a teen yeah, yeah I would say I forgot it was 18 or 19 that was my encounter it was through worship hmm. uh, it was at my lowest moment lowest point in my life um, yeah I had a lot of like Family problems, financial problems, all, all, all those other things. Um, yeah, and then one day, after I learned more, and like I went to TC at that same year, and then I kind of learned more about it, and then I just said, God, like, I need you, you know? And then I just felt this overflowing, abundant love that I've never felt before. But I was doing, I was doing worship in my room alone. And I was just playing a song on Spotify, by the way. And then, yeah, after that, I cried for some reason. I don't know why. There was no exact feeling, but I felt peace. I felt joy. I felt love. And to me, that was my encounter with God. So. Cool. Mine is kind of weirdly similar hmm. because when I was in like school, I never encounter, I like have that a kind of like encounter with God, like very specific thing, no. But um, because my family situation was not the best when I was teens, especially in high school, 
But then after I went to uni, I think it was my first or oh no, second year of uni. So it's like probably 18 or 19. Mm. And my uh, what is kosan in English? My kosan friend, Dorm. my Dorm. housemates. Dorm. Ah. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah. He and her and he and his friends uh, went to this one church in uh, Gading Serpong, and he asked me to come. Like, do you want to come with us? Because we haven't seen you like go to church on mm. Sunday, and <clears throat> I was like, okay, sure. And at the time, I wasn't really like, I wasn't really trying to get to know Jesus and all that and with Christianity in general. But then on that day, there, that was actually like my first time after years not coming to church. And there was a song, if you know the song, uh, Bless the Lord, oh my soul. I don't know that one. Oh my soul. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. And the, the exact word when I cried was like, was sing like never before, oh my soul. I worship your holy name. I was like, Ooh, yeah. Exactly. I'm like, oh, Jesus. Oh, is this Jesus. the time for me to sing like never before? <laughs> to worship you and all that? And then, yeah, I, I cried and I felt a lot of things. It was. And then she actually did. What? Bless the Lord. <laughs> I sing like never before, right? You've never sung like that before. Sorry. Sure. Sorry. But, but yeah, that was mine. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So. I mean, I, I can relate a lot to uh, Jay, especially with, um, I don't know if this is the same case for you, but uh, for me, mm. our religion when I was a bit younger was just like a, you know, like you're born into it, like, mm -hmm. better follow Christ, you know? Was, yeah. that, was that like, is that what it was like for you? Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't forced anyways by my family, mm -hmm. but I would just say, I mean, that's what I see in church, right? Yeah. They just talk about, you have to follow Jesus. Follow mm -hmm. Christ, you know, mm -hmm. and yeah. especially in my school. Your interesting school? Yeah, I have an interesting school, by the way. I will not name. Mm -hmm. Please if you don't. want to know more, you can come talk to me if you want. Or don't, honestly, don't. <laughs> um, just don't. But yeah, I mean, with that one, it kind of like taught me a lot. People are laughing here because they all know about it, except for these two. These two don't know yet. Um, but yeah, uh, a lot of it was just you have to follow God no matter mm -hmm. what. Yeah. You have to fear God. You have to follow God. Hmm. But why? You know? Yeah. Why? And I just never really... Yeah. I feel like uh, another problem that uh, teens have, and I, uh, maybe you guys have this as well, is that like if they do... <clears throat> Sorry. All good. <laughs> it's okay. It happens. If, if they do have like... If they do start believing more and having more faith, they have like problems just sharing it to their family or their, their friends or anything like that. Like... Have you guys come across that challenge? Hmm. Yeah, of course. Sorry, what's the question again? My bad. The, the question was. Um, I blanked out a little bit there. Not gonna lie. <laughs> anyway, uh, have you guys ever, uh, either in teens or just like in now, uh, have you guys ever find found any difficulty like sharing faith with your family or your friends? Oh yeah. Oh, definitely. You go first. Like I was in a. Uh, all girls school mm. and even then it was not easy for me to share that kind of thing with my friends even mm. though I know it's safe i safer at least but it's still even to my church friends I'm like I, I, I don't think I can talk to this to you guys I'm so sorry and uh, of course there was a challenge because I don't know why I should follow Jesus yeah that's the thing I we never thought why and like, I know he's like amazing and all that, of course. Mm. But why? Yeah. 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 And I cannot ask that to anyone because I grew up in such a, uh, what do you call it? Not old church. Uh, uh, Very old school. Old school church. Thank oh. you. So yeah. when I started to question all that, they're, they're just like, you just have to follow. That's yeah. it. Question it. Yeah. So, it's yeah, the same definitely. to question it. That's a challenge. Hmm. But yeah, I just want to add on a little bit to that. It's not a simple question. It's not wrong to ask questions about it. To be curious is actually a very good thing and it's very encouraged. Mm -hmm. It means you want to get to know more. It means you care. Mm. So remember that. But yeah.
Okay, uh, well, that was uh, the questions and the, the answers for segment one. We'll mm. be back with another segment after a few short words from our ads. We'll see you guys in a bit. Bro! Bye! Hey, hey there! Are you looking for something fun, inspiring, and life-changing? Well, look no further. Come join our TC Youth Services at every Saturday. We're talking about music that'll get you pumped, messages that actually matter, and other cool stuff. You'll be able to make amazing friends, hang out with new people, and you can just have fun. You'll also learn about what it really means to connect with God. Whether you're searching for answers, looking for a place to fit in, or if you just want to have fun, this is the place to be. So bring your energy and bring your friends, and let's make some unforgettable memories together. Our TC Youth services happen at every Saturday starting from 2.30 p.m. and ending at 5 p.m. So don't miss out and we'll see you there. Okay guys, how was the ads? Whoa! Oh, oh, my God. God. That's so cool. I think that it was so Skipo cool. The ads are so cool. That Skipo is going to do... Huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do... He's, he's going to do a rap. Oh, He's okay, going to freestyle okay, it okay. right now. <laughs> Boom! Let's go, Skipo. That's how good the ad is. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. Give me a beat. Hmm. Ako, wait, 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 no, 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 a a wait, no, no, acapella, acapella, acapella. Okay, acapella, acapella. Hmm. Hmm. Did you guys see that ad? Hmm. Mm. I wrote that. Not mm. half as bad. Hmm. Mm. You guys are listening to the word of God. Hmm. Mm. Open your ears and be glad. Hmm. Mm. Wait, 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 there's more, there's oh, more. Oh, there's more. He ain't oh, done. He ain't done yet. He ain't done. You shouldn't sit around on your couch. Don't be sad. Hmm. Mm. You shouldn't demean others. Don't be mad. Hmm. Okay. I'm talking specifically to you, Who? Brad. Hmm. Who? Who's Brad? <laughs> tell him. Tell him who's Brad. Okay, I have. <laughs> oh, we done. Okay. okay. <laughs> I have nothing else. Cool. Go on, Michaela. Mm -hmm. So. Continue. I'm curious. What are some ways that a teen's pride can block their spiritual journey? Because as a teen, sometimes you have all these wants to be seen, to be popular, mm. to have it your way. Yeah. So, you know, how can that block their spiritual journey? I love how we went from we went from a, from a rap to something so serious, like so fast. But I love it. Okay. You want to go or you want me to go first? You. Okay, I'll go first. Uh, we're talking about pride, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... I think in a lot of ways, pride is something that kind of disconnects us from God, whether we like it or not. Mm -hmm. Because pride means a lot of times is doing your own work and your own agenda mm -hmm. instead of God's, right? right? That you don't lean on to Him, that mm -hmm. you lean to yourself. Because we tend to be like, oh, I got it, you know, I don't need it, I don't mm -hmm. need God, I don't need anybody, I'm yeah. good, you know, I'm, I'm sure I'm fine. But like, obviously, that's not the case, right? Yeah. It's like saying, ah, it's fine, you know, I don't need, I don't need my mom, I don't need anything, it's okay, we're good. Okay, yeah. go ahead, cook for yourself. Go ahead, clean yeah. for yourself, you know, and all those things. But, um, and I think, yeah, that's how pride really like kind of blocks us, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it makes us feel like we think we have it all together, yeah. but in reality, we don't. We don't. Mm -hmm. We really don't. So, I think that's one of the things. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Same. <laughs> Same. What's, what's like Boy. an example of like how that pride can like block mm. your spiritual journey? In like what way? Like what kind of, like in what shape? In yeah. which like, shape? Yeah, in like what case, like mm. an example case. Yeah. Like, mm. oh, I don't need to pray for this exam. I got it, you know. Yeah. Like why do I need to, you know. Actually, have you ever did that? I did that mm. on my national exam. Oh. I'm sorry, Jesus. <laughs> I regret it up until uh, I was in uni because so. Uh, you know, in uh, Sunday morning in Christian household, it 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 looks like hell. Yeah. Like all hell broke loose. Like yeah. why is everybody's yelling? Yeah. There yeah. was me on the morning of my math national exam. I was like, the the night before, I was like. I got this. I'm good. And in the morning, my friends started asking questions about all those 
things and I'm trying to like explain it properly and all that because I'm like I'm I'm, I'm a good friend I think I can you know mm. help my friend and all that 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 was me and my pride I'm like I got this I'm smart enough to like explain all these things to my friends and then <laughs> no I was not really uh what what is kabar in English Habar. patience oh, I don't have the kind of patience yeah. it turns out because yeah. I I just like that was just me and my uh, patience where in reality I need more than that mm-hmm. I didn't ask to God for like give me the patience and the wisdom to like talk to them before the exam yeah. and I was like mad mad I'm like mm. why Jesus why is it like this what do you want me to do mm. and then I did not do it properly the exam I got like 9.25 instead of Ooh. you know 100 yeah and I regret that because it was like 9.25 meaning that I only I, I didn't got like three out of all of the things mm. what is mm. all yeah what do you mean 9.25 yeah what's 9.25 out of 10 I got 9.25 oh, so it's out of 10 yeah the grade Oh, that's should, pretty good. Yeah, isn't that good? <laughs> I was ambitious. Oh my oh, god, oh first my world god. problems. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I was like, okay. 9.25. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, yeah, yeah that's crazy, 9.25. Tua, <laughs> could never. <laughs> crazy. Yeah, but, no, but, but I, I feel like it's like one of the things that really uh, sticks to me because yeah. I was a very ambitious person yeah. and I was in the trial. Oh, what is, yeah, trials, right? We have trials mm-hmm. before the exams. Yeah. I got like perfect numbers and on Whoa. the exams I like 9.25 mm. that's not okay that's yeah. an Asian F that's an Asian F yeah in my mom's eyes it was like yeah. go Damn. you're not my kid anymore wow Ooh. yeah that's bad bad mm. I like get on my knees and praise the Lord on a seven <laughs> telling you right now <laughs> but yeah that's that that's like that that kind of thing that my pride of being like I know I'm smart enough I'm good enough to like do all that and yeah. not having not involving God into doing yeah. all those things makes me yeah yeah I feel like uh, a bunch of teens can just uh, a bunch of my friends and just from TCN and everything it I feel like they can relate because it's like like I said earlier I think now people are very like uh, they just like don't want to be like adults you know they just like don't want to be like the na 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 but then like they're maturing so fast that they need to mm. so it's like you know what like i got this i'm gonna just get this over with and just like i'm not even gonna pray i'm not gonna do anything i'm just gonna mm-hmm. yeah. yeah and there was also yeah. something that that jay For said sure. that actually relates to the next question um <clears throat> he said something about uh he said uh sometimes we rely on ourselves too much right yeah that's how we can get our like pride mm. blocked and yeah. mm. our just journey just stop like that mm. But other people can also have like, because I, I felt this many times where it's you rely on others, like what they uh, think of you. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, like, am I wearing, for yeah. example, when I, when I came here today, I was like, you know, what? is this, should I wear this shirt? Like, will people, will people think it's, uh, it's, it's like I'm dressing for a vacation, but I'm hosting. You look and, amazing. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Look you look good. But yeah, like, uh, how, like, how could we just stop that from happening because i feel like it happens to a lot of people yeah because as teens we want to be validated or seen by mm. the people around us or the world maybe sometimes because of that pride you want to look like oh i'm the smartest one you mm. want to feel like oh i'm the best or i want people around me to see what i'm doing or like yeah. how good i am yeah but like how do we like not let that control our lives how do we le- not let people's opinions or people's ideas Um, thoughts get into us and like ma- control us yeah. you know as teens you go? Mm. You. okay I think for starters to value yourself be confident in yourself mm. I think the most important thing is loving yourself mm-hmm. uh, the goal of all that you just talked about right that's about people right mm-hmm. sometimes it could be a positive thing we could see it as a positive or like I'm doing this because you know I want to be great Yeah. So I can be great for others, right? We can do yeah. all this, we can help people. Mm-hmm. Or sometimes it, go, it can go a selfish route, just like, I want people to validate me or whatever and whatnot, right? 
the start of that is actually believing and loving in yourself. How can you love others before you love yourself? That's one of the things that I got um, back in the day in TCI and stuff. Um, is how can you love people before you love yourself? Mm-hmm. How can you expect people to think you're great even if you don't even think yourself that you're great? Right? Yeah. And a lot of the times with that, it's also, by the way, with greatness, it's a bit, it's a gray area. Or if we think like we're amazing at something, it's not us. It backs again. It goes back to that pride again, right? That it's not our own agenda. It's not something that I think I'm great because of me, because I worked hard for this, right? I worked hard for this exam. I worked hard to be in this uni, to be in this school, to be in this workplace, Mm. where at the end of the day, everything, all that is, if we can say that all of this is coming back to you, God, this, Mm. all this is a blessing from you, that you have given to me, we're setting up for, to understand that there is something greater than ourselves. And with that, we have a bigger purpose, right? And that purpose usually is in terms of in what we're called to do, I would say, especially in the Bible. We, we read it a lot mm-hmm. that it says that we're called to serve others. Yeah. Right? Um, but again, even when it comes to serving others, serving people, our pride gets in the way. Yeah. Right? Um, and that's because we, we don't believe in ourselves. We don't love ourselves. And we don't believe in God. We don't believe that God can do for us. Mm. And we can give it back. You know? Mm. So it goes like this. Boom. It's like an L shape. It's an L shape. It's boom, boom. Oh, okay. I get you know? it. Yeah. Like this. You get it? Yeah. <laughs> be an L shape, people. <laughs> be an L. You can, you can all be an L. If you can follow these few steps, I'm just kidding. Wow. I don't know what the stuff. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, going on to it. Sorry. What about was, you, Nadia? What was the question again? <laughs> the what question are was, some ways, ways, like, not to let oh, yeah. people or the people. world, like, influence your life? Hmm. Thankfully, I am that kind of person. Like, ever since I was a teen, mm-hmm. I never, like, uh, really think about what other people think of me. Like, I do what I want to do, I try what I want to try, I, I'm just existing there, being myself. It's okay if I'm not the same with other people, it's, it's okay if I don't relate to some, you know, cool girl group mm. settings yeah. and all that. I'm fine with that. And um, what I can say is just <laughs> not think about other what other people think. No. Uh, no, it's true. Yeah, because it's like your teenage years is only like what six years out of mm. I don't know seventy yep. years of your life. Amen. If mm-hmm. God give you that, but and it doesn't define who you are because mm. our identity is not. Uh, defined by other people. Yes. It's defined yes. By, by Jesus. Yeah. And our identity is? In Christ. Mm. Yeah, right? In mm. Jesus. In mm-hmm. Jesus, yes. Yes. Mm. I love their Amen. answers. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. That's such amazing answers, oh, guys. Well, yeah, it's, um, wow. <laughs> it's basically like, yeah, just having that. I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, sorry. But yeah, having that that. kind of confidence in Jesus and not in yourself Mm -hmm. will help you to like grow more into like loving yourself and Mm -hmm. all what Jay Jay said before, you know? Mm -hmm. So you could be, you could pour the the thing, the L-shaped thing. spirit out. (laughs) Yeah, be the L-shape. Be the the L. L. Mm -hmm. Take the, I'm just kidding, don't take (laughs) the L. No, no. (laughs) That's a bit, that's Sorry. what I mean. Sorry. <laughs> that's wrong. Mm-hmm. So, mm. speaking about people, right? We want to let 
people that can be a good influence to us and can actually bring us closer to God. So what are some ways that teens can find a community of like-minded people who also um, do what they do for the Lord, who also praise the Lord? Like, how do we find a community like that? Join DC Youth. Sorry. Join DC Youth, guys. <laughs> No, 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 go ahead. Or other churches. Or, or other yeah. churches. Yeah. Sure. But, but yeah, we cool. HKBP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're into that, you know what I mean? That's fine. You know, it's up to you. I mean, obviously, like, um, I think the main thing about finding a community, finding people, finding friends is basically having that understanding to have someone who can build you up and lift you up yeah. you know and just make you have that accountability partner having that person who can just not a yes man of course because we don't like yes men here right mm -hmm. we don't like everybody it's whatever you do it's just like yes do it yes girl <laughs> that is okay that is valid that is right no yeah. <laughs> no okay, you know girl. We want an accountability partner, mm -hmm. right? We want someone who can make us better, right? Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, lead us to, to God, right? Lead us to Christ, right? We want people who are at the same mindset, have the same heart for it. Um, but yeah, I think that's one thing that you can mm -hmm. continue on. I think uh, do your research properly before you are planted in one church. Because moving churches, it's not the best thing ever. Because yeah. you know when you uh, you plant something and then there were what's the thing? The name? Akar. Roots. Roots. Yes. Roots. If you move the plant many many times, the roots. roots will become as hard as a rock. Yeah. That's why you have to be like, do your research. What kind of soil do you want to? planet in mm. yes, what sir. kind of water how much water do you need and all that and Bars. what how big of a pot do you want does mm. it have to be like what kind of environment do you want to plant it in mm. and yes. then after that you can start planting mm. because it's not re really recommended to mm. yeah. you know move. i feel like this uh <clears throat> that's an important step for teens uh because the uh, big message in CC is faith is not meant to be journeyed alone. Mm. And it's well, what you said, Nadia, I think it's, it's, it's really important. And if the viewers and the listeners want to learn more about what was just said, this is a sick transition. You, can, you should stay for the next few minutes because we have another ad rolling out. I'm ready. And you guys should guess what it's about. Oh. Transition, 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 transition. <laughs> Wait, there's a TC Youth booth on Sunday? Yes, we do have a TC Youth booth on Sunday. Okay, so what's it about? It's mostly about expanding the TC Youth community to those who are not very familiar with it. And to also provide a space to hang out for those who regularly attend. Oh, so is it on every Sunday or certain Sundays? You can expect the TC, TC Youth Booth team to be there every Sunday from 10 to 11.30 p.m. There are a bunch of really fun activities that you can participate in, like bracelet making, slime making, Mario Kart tournaments, and so much more. You can come up to the booth and ask questions about services and tribes. So don't be shy and don't forget to visit our booth. See you there. Hi guys, hope you guys like that TC Youth ad. Yes sir. I hope that you guys got inspired. Hmm. I hope your thoughts get desired. Desired. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I hope you're fired. No, 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 no. That, that, that doesn't work. Fired <laughs> up. Fired hmm. up. Hmm. Let's go. I hope you get sized up. Hmm. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <a> fight? Well, <laughs> no, I'm not uh, asking to fight. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the ad. Um, now we're gonna move on into some other questions, uh, specifically more just about maybe what you guys do in uh, TC, where it's like uh, you know sharing the gospel or serving in any way. Uh, like for you guys, like <laughs> this girl. For you guys, uh, what are some like? things that you came across when you first started sharing the gospel or sharing your faith where it's like, damn, I didn't know that was going to be like hard or like, I didn't know it was going to be challenging. 
Oh. Uh. You can go first if you want. Can you go first? I'm gonna go first. This is number two, by the way, in PC. No, right no, no, here. I'm not. It's crazy here. <laughs> this is second. No, this is Pastor no. Alex. Mm -hmm. This is her no. right here. This is the assistant, executive assistant of Pastor. Did you guys know that? Really? Yeah. Did you guys know that? Really? See, he doesn't know that. Oh, oh, really? See, yeah, oh, he doesn't know that. that. He's the she is the assistant of Pastor Alex, Damn. who's literally the lead pastor of this church. She is like, I if there's a chart here, this is Pastor Alex Janae. Nadia is bro. right here, <laughs> and everybody else. Bro, it's crazy, bro. I'm telling you right now, you gotta like respect this woman. I'm telling you. Oh my god, girl. Oh Stop. my god, girl. Yes, girl. Slay. You're so amazing. You're beautiful. Oh What's god. up You're with incredible. you and this bitch? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyways, sorry. continue on. Go yeah. on. Uh, mm. In DC, I am. Yeah, as mm. Jay said, I mm. am Pastor Alex's executive assistant. Hmm. I do a lot of mostly scheduling for him and also helping out with whatever he is coordinating. Like if we have some events, training, uh, meetings with all the global, pa the C3 global pastors, uh, yeah, I help with all that stuff. And also I'm serving in youth as one of the leader. He is an ex-leader, by the way. Mm. He was great. I'll get into know. that later. Mm. Yeah. yeah, he actually is the one who uh, inspired me to step up and be a youth leader. Wow. You wow. Know? In yeah. Starbucks. Yeah. On the Starbucks. Yeah. 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 What a legendary Day. moment. <laughs> moment. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Was, it, was it just like out of nowhere, like, you know what, let's get some coffee. And also like, what did we do? Forgot. Why was that? It was me, her, and Brista, oh, also yeah. an ex-leader. Yeah. Uh, at the time, it was me and Brista were leaders, hmm. and then I was yeah. praying to be, be yeah. leaders. It's been two years since I prayed. Yeah. And then one time he, you, you were the one who like invited me to the place, you know, to like, where to Starbucks, right? That was because we were we were going to have a meeting. Remember? What meeting? About a song. Uh, anyway, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then continue. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah and now we're here. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Jay? Uh, I know. I I also see you. Um, like I said. Oh, it's yeah. <coughs> Like I said. Oh, it's even worse now. <laughs> you okay. okay? I got your question. Do you need water? Sorry, right, right. I got your question. <laughs> no, I, I don't need water. I'm fine. Okay. I got your question. Don't worry. Uh, you like I said. You also. You know, play the guitar. You sing as well. Yeah. Have Have you gotten like any problems with that? Not like technical ones, because of course, in any type of serving, there's gonna be problems like that. But like, yeah. when you're like, when you're like, for example, when you're singing, it's like, yo, this guy's not paying attention. What's wrong with him? Or like, any type of challenges that's like personal oh, like that. There's so many challenges. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll take it back. So yeah, I was an <laughs> ex leader before, and I think in youth, and that was really where my challenge of like getting out there and be extroverted like that was the challenge for me um because if you don't know this about me i'm actually a very introverted person or at least i used to be a very introverted person uh until i became a leader right where I, i've been like put on edge like put on the corner and just like you have to do this no i'm just kidding they don't force me to do anything don't worry about it do they don't they <laughs> Sometimes, in a nice way. They like, to, they like to play with your brains. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not bad being a leader. Be a leader, guys. Come on, let's do it. It's fun. Um, <laughs> but I remember, I guess my first encounter with everything was obviously singing. Yeah. Um, well, I guess it started off with playing. I used to be an electric guitarist in TC. And then I go on stage. I got used to that. And then I started singing, but I started singing in youth first. And that was hard for me. It was tough. It was like, do I sound great? I don't know what I sound like. Mm. And then, especially in church, right? You're not just singing. Um, you are advised to lead, right? You lead people to worship, lead worship, right? And that's the, kind of like the hardest part for me. Because also in my head, I also feel like maybe I wasn't enough. And I think it leads back to the old questions where like the reasons why 
we feel maybe like disconnected with God is we tend to feel like we're not enough, right? Yeah. We tend to feel like we're not worth it. Um, who am I to like do this and whatnot? So I started singing. Um, it was hard for me. It took a lot of getting used to. And then I started preaching mm. in youth. That was insane. When Jordan, Jordan, ex uh, youth pastor, who I was under before Ray Ray, it was like, Jay, yeah, I think you're going to start uh, preaching first. And I'm like, are you out of your mind? Mm. <laughs> like, what are you on about? You know, that was like the worst, one of the most nerve wracking moments of my life. But also, thankfully, it was through a camera. Uh. If it's better or worse, I don't know. For some people, it's worse than the camera. But some people like being in a camera more. Me, I personally like camera more. I'm more comfortable with it. I'm more used to it. Um, so, yeah, that. And I think, yeah, it was a challenge, you know, seeing like, it wasn't really much about what people will think, mm -hmm. but it's also understanding if I am enough or am mm -hmm. I worthy enough to be here? Yeah, definitely. Am I worthy? In a way, like, especially when we're in front, when we're spreading the gospel, when we're like uh, spreading that good news or leading worship or whatever, and mo most of the time we're in an altar. It's if the, basically a stage in TC or like when you're preaching up there like Ray Ray's doing what Geffen's doing it's an altar yeah right and for a lot of us the, I, the ideal thing that we've always known is that in an altar we have to be holy we have to be like perfect there because people has to be perfect in order to like talk about Jesus if you're not then like who are you right but I think what we're missing a lot of times is we're never perfect. Yeah. Nobody's perfect. I'm telling you right now, pastors aren't perfect. Mm -hmm. And I know even, I'm telling you right now, even Pastor Alex not perfect. Mm. And he can attest to this. You can even ask him yourself. Uh, even Jordan's not perfect. Pastor Rere is not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Mm. We're all humans at the end of the day. And that's why we need God, right? Yeah, definitely. When we realize that I'm perfect, I got it, I'm comfortable, that's where we get disconnected from God. Mm -hmm. So that's where your pride. That's where your pride hits in. Boom. Mm -hmm. Back at it again. So I think that's one of the challenges for me, right? But sharing it, uh, going into tribes. But again, you know, we're worthy. We're enough because of, back again, right? How Jesus, Christ. Jesus, Jesus, right? Jesus. He died for us, mm -hmm. washed away our sins. Um, and yeah. On a ramble there. Go ahead, leader Nadia. No. Jay was actually spitting. That was crazy. Yeah. You 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 yeah, locked sorry. in. I don't know. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> I can <laughs> be <laughs> both. Okay. I can have fun. I can lock in too sometimes. Mm. But yeah. But yeah. Uh, for me, I guess like having the um, apa ya, opportunity that I get to be on the altar. Like either I lead worship or I soon gonna preach. <laughs> Jesus. She's gonna preach soon, by the way, guys. Mm. Pray for me, guys. It's gonna be an, a monumental moment here. I'll be there too. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that kind of privilege also come with responsibility of like um, keeping the altar as a sac sacred place. Yeah. Not just the altar, but of the the whole room the whole building to to the carpets to the floor you have you have that sense of like responsibility mm -hmm. to keep this place sacred yeah and uh what was i about to say <laughs> you're talking about the altar yes and keep it a sacred, and then, safe mm -hmm. place truth <laughs> did you lose your train of yes <laughs> We'll be right back with <laughs> yeah. short messages. Ba, 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 uh, I mean, uh, I, I understand with uh, TC uh, what you mean by like uh, keeping it sacred. Because I feel like every time, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't really think I'm new, but I'm still a bit like a bit foreign. Mm -hmm. And it's just every time I, I see just TC happening, it's like uh, just very like sacred and very focused and stuff like that. Mm. And um, I know that TC also likes to branch out a lot and uh especially in like ministries and this and that but like what do you guys think about 
like if TC or TC youth branches more into like social media, do you guys think that would be like a like an effective place to be like, hey guys, God, you know? Mm. For sure, I think we we start doing this kind of like social social media expansion pack this year, right? That's why we're doing unmuted, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. It's one of the reasons so we're doing all these things. Yeah, the so. ads. <clears throat> the ads. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Yeah, the yeah. I feel like it's the definitely an apa namanya? Oh, oh, stupid. Effective way. Yeah. Thank you. To reach more souls. Yeah, yeah. definitely. For sure. That's, we all scroll Instagram and TikTok and everything late at night, all the time, basically, until our phone explodes. Like, re- yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's real. Yeah. And social media is really a big part of a lot of uh, our congregation. Mm. Like, I believe, like, at least 50% of our congregation either in the main service or the youth came b- because of our social media yeah, yeah. right for sure i have yeah. a sorry i i have a I, i was thinking about this on the way here mm. i thought it was a it's not it's not really like a like a it's not really like a like a unique analogy but it's one that i really like and i want to like get your guys opinion on it mm. but i feel like in like christian teen life especially with social media, it's kind of like, imagine if you will, Jay Nadia, you're a shark. Okay. The <laughs> animal of a shark, right? Okay. Right? And you scroll through social media and mm-hmm. you're like, oh, I love being a Christian shark, mm-hmm. right? But then after that, you see a Christian bird and like, oh, that bird is spreading the gospel all over the air. Man, why am I not as good as a Christian as that? Like, do you guys ever like, see that happening with teens at all? Where it's like, Like, you can share and you can spread the word of God in your own way. Mm-hmm. And like most people now, it's kind of like you compare yourself too much to like, oh, oh no, like I have to do it like that because yeah. that guy dude does it well, that girl does it amazing or whatnot. Yeah. Do you guys like that analogy? Shark yeah, bird. actually, yeah. Right? you lost me, right? but you got me yeah. back. I'll be honest yeah. with you. You oh. lost me, but you got me Why back. Am I, a I got shark? it. I was like a shark, a bird. How does a shark and a bird? Okay, I get it now. I got it, I got it. Of course. Again, it goes back to this. I think no one is more special than the other because of how they say it, how they do it, whatever it is. As long as your heart aligns with Jesus and Jesus alone, Mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. It really doesn't matter. Mm. You could be a pastor who preaches with, for a, mi- a million people worldwide. And you could be a teen who just worships God with all his heart, his or her heart. God will love you the same. Mm. You could be a leader who just preaches the gospel to five people. And you are just as worthy and you are just as enough yeah. Yeah. as a pastor who preaches for millions of people. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because again, going back again, it's not because of the person, right? It's no. because of God. Mm. It's a gift that God has given you, right? That you're able to have him by your side, the, no matter what, you know? Yeah. Um, So yeah, I yeah. think that's one of the things. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I agree. Because we all have our own different callings, right? Mm. So yeah. we shouldn't compare ourselves to other people. True. Yeah. And that is why we have many, many different ministries. Mm-hmm. So you can pick and choose what are you like confident in or comfortable mm-hmm. with. And we have, you don't have to you know, be on the altar in order for you to like be worthy in his eyes or like that's not the only way for you to serve God and serve mm. people. There are lots of ways like the shark and the bird. Mm. Like, I, I love say, that. I actually, I actually love that analogy so much. <laughs> I know. Like, Good for you, buddy. <laughs> Good for you. I like it. Good because, for you. Like, 
let's say uh, me and Jay. Yeah. Like I am good enough to you know sing. Yeah. And he's so great at doing like social media stuff. So mm. it's like a bird who's like spreading gospel on social media. Well, I was the shark. Yeah, he's you go deeper. And you uh, have fins. I mean, <laughs> you have gills. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm and sharp teeth. Up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I do that. Yeah. Based on like what God calls me to do. Yeah. 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 I think it goes back again to comparison too. Mm. I think that's also a big thing. Yeah. Comparison is a rough thing. Yeah, I know we're ahead of we're off time, but just bear with me a little bit. Um, it's fine. It's okay. It's fine. But yeah, I think comparison is a very, very dangerous thing. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes you could even compare a bird and a shark, but it can also be even just as dangerous. I would say sometimes more mm. comparing shark to shark. Mm. How about a snake to a rat? Like a snake takes a little bit more time, and rat is like. Ee-ee-ee. No, I would say <laughs> where I was going with it is basically like a big shark oh, and a little okay, shark, okay, okay, okay. you Sorry. know? That and like, sense. you go to him and be like, yo, this guy is a lot bigger. Why can't it be more like him? Why can't I worship like him? Why can't I praise like him? Yeah. Why can't I preach like him? We're in the same department here, yeah. in a way. But again, it goes back to your heart, right? Yeah. So, yeah. And it goes back to God. God. Well, it's like he's teaching me. God. God. Yeah. Say God. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> people. All because right. all we do here is all about hmm? God. God. <laughs> anyway, yeah. All right. So. Uh, well, thank you, uh, Jay and for Nadia, sure. for being able to spare you guys' time from, you know, praising God and playing Fortnite or whatever. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. So, but really, thank you guys so much. It's been uh, an amazing time for me and Michaela. I hope you guys it's also an had an time. amazing time here as well. Shout out to the host, by the way. You guys are amazing. It's Michaela's first time, guys. Come on now. Yeah. She's doing so good her first time. More, guys. Woo! Oh. Yeah. Energy! <laughs> thank you. All right. Well, okay. um, if you guys want to see more episodes like this, or I want more. Yeah. Okay. I I want to I want more. Yes. I don't want to host more. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you guys want to see more episodes like this, uh, just go check our social media on Instagram, Unmuted by TC Youth, yes, and on TikTok as well. You guys At will be unmuted updated. Unmuted by TC Youth. Sorry. Unmuted by TC. Yes. Unmuted by TC Youth. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. You'll be able to see latest updates, teasers on next episodes, and other shenanigans. And if you guys also, <laughs> sorry, and if you guys also just like what you see on camera or what you're listening to if you're on Spotify or mm. any other streaming listening things, yeah. you guys streaming, can listening to you guys, with the freestyle. Mm. Do you want me Close to drop the, the beat? No, no, no. I, I do better acapella. Okay. If you guys, no, I said acapella. <laughs> I said acapella. Okay, okay, okay. If you guys like what you see, hmm. spare some time. Head over to TC. Hmm. Okay. Youth. <laughs> I mean, it could be anywhere. Yeah, it could be anything. You know? sure. mm. We have so many communities. Mm. I'll invite you to the DC. Mm. Mm. Okay. Discord. You can, you can talk to us on Tuesdays, 7 p.m. A group VC. Mm. Talk to them. Talk to them. Bro, bro. Bro. <laughs> oh, we're done. <laughs> All right, yeah. yeah. All right, come on. Thank you guys Let's so go. Much. That was. I think that was actually one of my best raps in a while. Good. That was really good. Anyways, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Jay and Nadia. Thanks for having for us. For the guests. Love it. Bye bye. See you guys in the next episode.